I don't have a skull. Or bones. Mr. Strauss Podcast. For May 19th, on this day in Disney history. On this day in 1971, Davy Crockett's Explorer Canoes debuts in Disneyland. Born on the mountaintop in Tennessee, green estate in the land of the free, raised in the woods so he knew every tree, killed him a bar when he was only three. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. The attraction is a free-floating canoe experience. Boarding from the park's Critter Country section, up to 20 visitors paddle a canoe around the rivers of America, accompanied by two guides. Inspired by the Davy Crockett Disneyland television shows, the park's guides wear coonskin caps. This is the only Disneyland attraction that is powered entirely by park visitors. The attraction originally opened as Indian War Canoes on July 4, 1956, as part of Frontierland's Indian Village expansion. At the original Disneyland version of the attraction, riders embark and disembark from a small boat dock next to the Hungry Bear restaurant in the Critter Country section of the park. Each 35-foot-long fiberglass canoe holds 20 guests, two per row. Guests are given a short lesson on how to paddle the canoe to power the boat properly after leaving the dock. Small children are required to wear life jackets. Life jackets are also available for adults who cannot swim in the event the boat ever capsizes. The canoe travels 2,400 feet around Tom Sawyer Island, while the guides point out sights along the way, such as a settler's cabin and the Indian chief on horseback. The ride's length depends on how fast the paddlers are and how much other traffic is on the river. It is the only attraction in Disneyland to be in three different lands without ever being moved. Davy, Davy Crockett, leading the pioneer.